Yo, what's up guys? Also here with another video. So in this video, we're going to figure out just how much exactly do you lose with opening the Spectrumon case. So people have the idea that the Spectrumon case seems to be the most profitable case to unbox with its awesome classified, coverts, and probably the best looking knives in the game right now. So we're going to put this idea to the test. So to calculate the return of the Spectrum 1 case, we needed two things. First is the prices of each condition of each skin in the case. This was easy. All we had to do was get the price of each outcome in each condition in the Steam community market. So the next thing we needed is the odds of getting each skin in each condition. So we already know what the odds are to get each type of skin because Perfect World released it when CSGO was released in China. So it was around 80% for blue items, then 16% for purple items, 3.2% for pink items, 0.64% for red items, and 0.26% for yellow items. And also, there was a 10% chance of getting a stat track item. So by dividing the percentage to the number of skins in that rarity, we can get what the odds are to get each skin. So the next thing we had to do was find the odds for each condition. So to get the odds for each condition of each skin, we needed a few things. First is this table released by the owner of float.db. All it shows is the odds to get the percentiles in the float range in a skin. We'll explain more about this later. And next is the float range of that specific item. So this table before shows us that the odds to get a float in the first 7th percentile of a float range is 3%. Then, the odds to get the float between the 7th and the 15th percentile is 24% and so on and so forth. So what I did was I manually computed the odds to get each condition of each skin. So one example I can give on how I computed these things is, for example, the Bison Jungle Slipstream has a float range of 0 to 0 0.5. So that means that the first 7th percentile was from 0 to 0 0.035, then the 7th to 15th percentile was from 0 0.035 to 0 0.075. But factory in condition only contains skins with floats below 0 0.07. So to figure out the chance to get a non-stat track factory new condition Bison Jungle Slipstream, all we had to do was add the chance to get the first 7th percentile to the percentage that was in the factory new condition range in the 8th to 15th percentile, then multiplying it to the chance to get a non-stat track Bison Jungle Slipstream. So to confirm that I made no mistakes, I just added the odds of each condition of each skin and made sure they lined up with the supposed odds down to the 10th decimal point. So after a few sleepless nights of doing that to each condition of each weapon skin in the Spectrum on case, all we had to do now was plug in the price of each condition for each weapon skin in the case. Then by multiplying the price of each outcome to its percentage, then adding them all up, then dividing it to the total cost of the Spectrum on case and the key we got the return of the weapon skins in the Spectrum case to be just above 25%. But there is one thing that I haven't included in my computations which will change the return of this case, and that is knives. So what I did for the knives was just basically the same thing. Except I split the Doppler finishes into 4 categories, and that is Phase 1 to 4s, Rubies, Sapphires, and Black Pearls. So the Doppler knife had this own different set of odds, and for the rest, I just did the same thing I did with the weapon skins. And by getting the return of the knives, and adding them to the return of the weapon skins, we finally got the return of the whole Spectrum on case. And the number is... $1.46 per case for an average return of 54.91%. So this is a terrible return for a case. So just a short disclaimer, I think that some cases will have a better return. For example, Jesus also tried to compute for the return of the Prismoan case with a similar computation to mine, 
and got a return of around 60%. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out, link in the description. So anyway, if this video gets some decent attention, I will try to find the most profitable case to open for you guys, as I already have a theory on the most profitable case to open. So anyway, the point is the odds in opening cases are terrible. So if you don't want to open any more cases, I highly recommend you to do trade-ups instead. So if you want to find profitable trade-ups, make sure to check out this playlist since I have many trade-ups in my channel that will be very profitable. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my Discord server. Link in the description. Anyway, this is Elsu, and peace out.